Harriet. What is it, dear? You want to fool around? <laughs> what would you do if I said yes? <laughs> trying to do? Set fire to both of us? Well, that will be the day, George. Well, what took so long anyway? You know that dinner is supposed to start at 8 o'clock sharp. Sorry I didn't have my watch on in the shower. That is very inconsiderate of you. I mean, I don't care about me, but what about the people who are with us, huh? 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 Stan, we're ready. Okay. We're not really in a hurry, are we? No, not really. Good. George, uh, why don't you and Mabel go on without us? Uh, we're going to be a little late. But what will people think? Mm, they won't think anything. These dinners don't start on time anyway. Besides, we came here to enjoy ourselves, right? Right. So? This will give me time to watch the rest of the ball game. Here we go, another lovely evening. And George, if you plan to come to this dumb reunion again next year, you're coming alone. Promise me. <laughs> Bernie, you ready? All set, George. This is the only jacket you pack, right? Sorry, Bernie. I ask you to do one thing, one thing. Pack my suitcase. I got four nice suits. Those you don't pack. But this one, the spotted fever, this one you pack. What's more to do than just pack your suitcase? Everything was very hectic, and the kids were all over the sure, place. Sure, sure, always the kids. Now I got to go to my class reunion in a, in a clown costume. <laughs> well, are we going or aren't we? Of course. I wouldn't want to miss such a lovely evening. <laughs> Let's not stay for the dancing. I mean, after that long drive, I'd like to get some sleep. Sounds like a lovely evening. <laughs> oh.
Why did you leave so early? It wasn't easy. I was having such a lovely time. But you could have told me that you were leaving. What difference would it have made? Why didn't you just go hobnob at the bar with your old buddy, buddy George? Then I couldn't find him either. He probably ran off someplace. <laughs> What are these? Cufflinks. Yeah, well, I know that, but they're not mine. Wait a minute, George had a pair just... So that's it. That's what? This is where he ran off to. <laughs> All right, George. <laughs> George, I know you're in here someplace. Come on out and get it. Come on, George! <laughs> Mabel, can't you ever remember that? You the... stay away from my wife! Oh. <laughs> Damn, be sensible. Nobody was here. No, you're far too trusting, honey. George was here all right. The cufflinks proved that. He got in here, and he was waiting to grab you. But how could he get in? He's always had a thing for you, just like most of the other guys. I mean, you were the best-looking girl down there. I mean, there was no contest. That's it. He got in and out through that window on the ledge. <laughs> I was right, but I was wrong. It wasn't George, it was Bernie. He's out there right now, calling into his room. That can't be. Don't tell me, I know that coat anywhere. <laughs> I know it's been a terrible experience for you, sweetheart, but we just won't come to these things anymore. Nerve of that guy. I'm gonna go have it out with him right now. Well, I didn't understand. It was a misunderstanding. The whole thing doesn't make any sense. I've never seen him like this before. No, neither have I. <laughs> George! George! Is George here? Oh, well, I guess not. I've got to apologize to him. What for? Mabel, this is going to shock you, but Bernie has flipped. I mean, he's gone completely off. I didn't help him. Now, I know what I did was wrong, terribly wrong. But I just couldn't help myself. I just couldn't. It's all over, my darling. Oh, I hurt my hand. Here, this should keep the swelling down. You know, um, I've been thinking, why don't we check out of here early and go down to that little place on the beach we used to like so much? Huh? What do you think? Oh, oh, I think you're delirious, but I love it. You're not upset by all that's happened, are you? No, not a bit. <laughs> you know, in spite of everything, Oh, it really has been a lovely evening. <laughs> you old faker. <laughs> you really do care a little, don't you? I tell you what, suppose I get all dressed up and we'll go downstairs for a little dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some other time. I kind of like it right here. <laughs> oh, and I didn't think this was going to be much of an evening. <laughs> 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 and that's the whole story, Miss Lynn. You can call the cops or anything you want, but I can't take that crawling around out there no more. You wouldn't believe the crazy people. That's how it all happened. Shall we tell the others? Let's not. Oh, Bernie, he really didn't do any harm, and maybe even a little good. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll do you a favor. I'll let you go. Uh, but uh, you've got to do me a favor. What's that? Take that jacket with you. <laughs> oh, thanks. <dang. laughs> oh, Bernie, I'm sorry about your eye. But it's nice to know.
know that you're still a tiger. Oh, what a lovely evening.